this up. You can stand there. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm just like, hello and welcome to the second channel. <laughs> and welcome to my second channel so this is the very first video on this channel and I am very excited and very nervous this channel is basically for everything that is not directly doll related that I like to do in my free time which is not much but it's honest work and also if there is anything else that you guys are interested in seeing me do on this channel please let me know in the comments below and I might film that in the future today I want to take you on a little thrift trip that's hard to say today I want to take you on a little thrift trip that I did with my boyfriend a couple weeks ago and then I'm going to show you how I thrift flipped two items that I bought there. Let's, let's come along, come, come. Is that good? So we are just on the way to go to uh, the second hand store right now and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Let's hope we find something. Okay, so we got our backpack. Got a lot of nice stuff, I think. And now we are heading home. I'm so overexposed. Okay, so it is the next day now because we went relatively late yesterday and I still had to do some stuff. And I want to show you guys what I got now and uh, then we'll see what we can do with all of that. Sorry, that was my Discord. <laughs> For the first piece I decided to transform this satin fabric pants into a shorts and a cami top. First I measure what exact length I want the shorts to be and pin some needles as markers before cutting them to the desired length and later on just hemming the bottom seam allowance. I really want my wardrobe to consist more of unique thrifted and handmade pieces in the future and this was a great opportunity to get started on this. Here I'm just cutting out the cami top pattern that I got on Etsy. I'll link it in the description box below. It was difficult to get all the pieces out of the remaining fabric, but I could make it work somehow. First, I'm just sewing together the darts of the top before hemming together front, back and side seam of the upper part of the top. After every sewing step, I take my iron and iron the seam allowances nice and flat. The backing paper is just so my iron doesn't get any dirt on the fabric. <laughs> it's a pretty bad iron and I really need to invest in a good new one, but they're so pricey. I also made little straps for the top and ironed them, but it was too shaky, so let's get back to sewing. 
hem together the bottom pieces and will now just gather them. Then I'm sewing on the little straps to the top and then the bottom part of the cami top to the top part. Lastly, I just line it with a lining I made from a different fabric because I didn't have enough. Oh, and last minute I decided to gather the middle front of the top and attach a little butterfly to it. I just do that real quick by hand and the first piece of clothing has been transformed. Wait for the reveal at the end. So I really can't decide what I, um, what I want to do with this shirt. So I put a poll up in my, on my Instagram and we'll wait now uh, for the results and then we'll start on this one. <laughs> Okay, to start off this project, I will be using a tank top that I thrifted for, I think, two dollars or so. And this fits me very well, and this will be the base. So yeah, as you can see I decided to go with a completely different piece this time, so here I'm just marking where I want to make some cuts. This shirt was inspired by Maddie from Euphoria and I just really wanted to make something like that. Even more than a butterfly top. <laughs> Ah yeah, and you can also see my concentrated double chin face that you usually never see in doll videos. <laughs> Not like this. I finished cutting the top, I will hem all unfinished edges with a super tight narrow zigzag that will create a shell seam. I think it looks better than a completely raw edge and I actually love shell seams a lot, so it was perfect for this. After hemming the edges, I then try opening up these safety pins. Haven't figured it out. There we go. And then I just start some cute beads and jewels onto them before closing them off again and attaching them to the slit in the shirt. And with that, let's make a mini showcase, shall we? <laughs> I'm absolutely adoring this shirt and I will so wear it this summertime. It's so much fun and I love all the little cute bedazzling. And here's the cami top and shorts combo. It's so nice and airy and also perfect for summer. And also I can wear the top with a pair of jeans or the shorts with another shirt. I can't wait to combine this into a super cute and sweet summer outfit. I hope it's soon warm enough to wear this. We are done taking photos now and yeah, that's it. See you in the next video. Bye!